And we're live. Hey, cruisers, welcome to this wild pop up midweek live stream. We are so happy to have you here to show you what our packed suitcases look like. We've been doing sort of a three parter here with our packing. First, we did a video for you on our toiletries and gears and all the detailed stuff that was in our little bags. Then we showed you a little bit more about our clothing and shoes last week. And now we're gonna show you what it looks like all in the bags. And I have to tell you, I have discovered some things that I forgot since the last video and I stuffed them in. So hopefully you'll see that in our vlogs. Today's episode is sponsored by cruiseline.com where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. You have gotta hang out and shipmate with me and 897 of my fellow shipmates. My next cruise, I was just looking at this to tell you guys a little bit about it, is on Carnival Splendor and in my roll call on Shipmate app, there are, well, it's not necessarily my roll call, but the ship information on this cruise, on this ship, boy, I can't talk tonight, 1,997 reviews on this ship and 6,611 photos. So you definitely can stay busy <laughs> and there's so much you can do. You can download your ship information for offline use on Shipmate. It's the best thing ever. So we love cruiseline.com and thank them so much for sponsoring our channel. So how's everybody doing? We have a ton of people in the chat tonight. Shout out to all of you who have already had a very long day at work. I know we certainly have and this is a wonderful, reward at the end of our day. So we've been busy packing for our cruise and we're so happy to let you guys know that eBags got in touch with us and said, hey, you guys have such an awesome audience and we wanna introduce your audience to some of our most cruise worthy products. And we were so excited to hear that. So they sent us this beautiful mother load TLS weekend Weekender convertible backpack, which I have been eyeballing forever. Mr. Cruise Tips TV is gonna come over in a little while and show you a little bit more about it. They also sent us a three pack of medium packing cubes in a gorgeous teal color. And we got the Packet, Plus, Packet Flat Plus toiletry kit. So we're gonna focus on showing you those three items because they are new to us and we wanna show you how we're utilizing them. We're gonna be here for 30 minutes tonight, to, so until seven, so we'll have some time to get to a little bit of Q&A in a while, but we won't have a full hour, so we're gonna kinda of show you the packing stuff first, and then if we have some time for questions, we'll take them. Feel free to ask questions now if you'd like, but if you, um, if you wait until a little bit later, that'd probably be better, and you have a little bit of a better chance of getting your question seen. I do see Ashley asking where we're going. Ashley, we are going on a seven Seven night Mexican Riviera cruise on Carnival Splendor. Hi Heather, welcome to your first chat. Good to see you. So the chat moves really, really fast, you guys. For those of you who are new, we generally have between three and 500 people in the live chat. So it is a cruise party, it is so much fun, but we have a hard time keeping up and sometimes we miss your questions. So what you can always do is if we miss your question, wait until this video saves to replay and type your question in the comments, not in the live chat, and we'll try to get to you another time. I sometimes struggle to keep up with messages here on YouTube, but I'm really good about responding to direct messages over on Facebook. So be sure to follow our Facebook page, Cruise Tips TV, also Instagram. Great place to touch base with me. YouTube gets a little overwhelming because we get so many comments and they're the kind of comments that I have to weed through, if you know what I mean. So why don't we get started by showing you my toiletry kit. So Mr. Cruise Tips TV, you're good for now, stay there. And then I'm gonna show you the new packet flat toiletry kit, which is actually, guys, in my backpack. So this is my travel backpack. You've all seen this guy. This is very, very popular in our Amazon store. And I've got lots of things inside of it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like fully packed. I can handle holding this up. This is what we've got going on here. So all of those pouches that you've seen us pack before are there. And my little folder with all of my paperwork is in there. So we've got our medication, our essentials, my makeup, hand sanitizing wipes, paperwork, and passports are all in the travel backpack, which I will wear on my back. This is our beautiful new Packet Flat, uh, packet flat Plus Toiletry Kit. And I can't say it because it's like a total tongue twister. I just wanna keep saying Packet Flat, but it's Packet Flat Plus, which I think also might be synonymous with a large size that you'll see when we um, sort of repost it. So this is what it looks like at first glance. So I just wanna give you guys kind of a nice long look at it real quick here. Okay, so this one's um, designed to be packed with loads and loads of toiletries and then laid flat in a suitcase, right? So it compresses down to between two and a half and three and a half inches, depending on how much you cram into it and it has a good four compartments in it. And it has this little strap right here. I'm gonna show you the center compartment first because I wanna show you the hanging feature. 
It has the little hanging hook, and you guys know I will not use a, a toiletry bag for a cruise that does not have a hanging hook. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, how am I framed up here with this? Can they see? Can you see? Looking good. Can they see the hook in the mirror? Okay, so one thing you'll notice that's different about this toiletry bag, everybody, is that this mirror comes out. So you just simply unbutton it and you can remove this and it's actually a full quality compact so you could take it out do lipstick eye makeup shaving whatever you want i did not know that when i got the product and i was pleasantly surprised it is very high quality and heavy so that's a really nice feature and then up here there's a nice little mesh pouch for your stuff and then there's some um some little compartments for smaller things like you can see here we have our toothbrushes in here and we have both of our razors in this area and then down here is just our deodorants our travel size deodorant down here a few more little things like all my toothpaste so this is the main compartment as you can see right here. I'm gonna go ahead and zip that back up and show you the rest. This holds so much more than I thought. When I transferred all of my stuff out of my usual toiletry bag and put it in here, I had way more room to spare than I thought. It's not full and it's gonna compress nicely. So let me show you what's going on in this other side over here. So on this side, are you okay, Mr. Cruz Tips TV? Just thank you to Diana D82. Oh, thank you, Diana D Super Chat. Thank you, Diana. We appreciate it. All right, so I've got my Clorox wipes in here, guys. I have the norovirus wipes that we always talk about, and then I have my son's pamper sensitive that he likes instead of toilet paper. Sorry if that's TMI, but we are talking toiletry bags here. So this is the larger of the side compartments. So you have compartment one, compartment two, and then we have two more compartments over here. So here's number three. Oh, I lied, I'm sorry. That's not number three, that's the center one. Okay, and here we have another little kind of skinny compartment. This is where I put all of my cotton pads and my Q-tips and things like that for removing makeup and a little teeny tiny bit of Neutrogena soap for removing my lip scents. So that's my little makeup removal pouch. Hopefully I'm not touching my microphone and making bad noises right now. This is kind of tricky. I need, a few, I need a few extra hands, you guys. I'll hold this up in just a moment as well. Yes. Oh, thank you. I can't, I need to pull my screen up. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Natalie. Tweety Bird 78. Woo, woo. That is a very generous super chat. Thank you very, very much. We really appreciate it. And I would like to say that Tweety Bird just bought me two on cruise cocktails. Okay. Last compartment here, guys, is my tissue. And this is just a little headband for washing my face. So as you can see, there's lots of nice little places to kind of squirrel things away. So I'm really loving it. I'm excited about the flatness of it. My other toiletry bag is great, I love it. I've used it for years, but this is a novel concept because it kind of spreads it out and distributes. It's really um, high quality. The back has kind of a padded feel, which I didn't expect and I honestly didn't notice. And of course it has the little carrying pouch. Other thing you need to know about e-bags guys is that they have really, really incredible guarantees. I didn't actually know how incredible they were until we started talking about these products this week on social media and you all told me all about their lifetime warranties. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Kelly. So this is our cutie pie. I'm gonna try to say it right this time one more time. The Packet Flat Plus Toiletry Kit. And you can probably be prepared for this sucker to be part of a giveaway next month. What do you think, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? Do you think this would be a good May giveaway? I think so too. Okay, so Mr. Cruise Tips TV is going to come on over and he's going to help me show you the big, giant, wonderful new backpack that we have. It's really not that huge. It's actually kind of a, you know, as travel backpacks go, it's kind of compact. Thank you, Alex, and you're very welcome. We really appreciate you being here tonight. Um, this also comes, you guys, in a junior size. So if you are going to try to take this on an airplane and slide it under the, um, the, the chair in front of you, and hopefully so Cal Seth, who's in the chat, hi sweetheart, can echo my um, sentiments on this. You need the junior size of this. So hi Mr. Cruise Tips TV. All right you guys, here is the inner workings of the uh, Weekender convertible. So as you can see, Mr. Cruise Tips TV has used this to pack his stuff. So right here you are seeing two out of three of his packing cubes and they're very securely fastened here with these little um, with these little straps. There's also this extra removable little pouch, zippered pouch inside that you could put like, gosh, I don't know, what do you guys think you'd put in here? Maybe undies, maybe socks, something small, definitely small in this area. It's not super big. Okay, how you doing, muscles? Good. Should we show them the rest? What are you What are you showing them now? 
You, oh, he's going to show you the outer pocket. Okay. I can't even begin to tell you guys how many bells and whistles there are on this thing. There is compartment after compartment on it that I, I, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted at how many different features it has on it. So let me try to show you just a couple of them. So this is, what's that? Are you, are you holding the flap open? All right, as you can see right here, this area alone, and this just has Mr. Cruise Tips TV shoes in it. This area alone is full of little zippered pouches. You've got a nice little elastic pouch here a small thin pouch here where you could put pens and things like that if you were going with like a laptop case and then a zippered pocket here. Everywhere you look, there is some new feature on this one. Take it out. Okay, so Mr. Cruise TV is gonna leave one of the packing cubes here. Let's show them, I wanna show them the back. Can we turn it around and do the straps? We're gonna show you guys the straps. Bear with me for just one moment. Okay. We're getting closer. Okay, so as you can see, you guys, on the back here, these straps are actually hideaway straps. So this zippered pocket right here, the straps can actually be unhooked from the bottom. <laughs> are you doing your Vanna White impression? That was awesome. You're trying, um, these, uh, my, my computer's in the way, but these unhook and then you can put this back into this little hideaway area and carry it as a suitcase. It also has a laptop sling that comes with it, which is pretty amazing. So there's zippered pockets everywhere. We could spend an hour just showing you all the zippered pockets and it's expandable. So this zipper right here, which I'm gonna probably not open right now because it's just too fully packed, expands the suitcase. So what do you think? Do we give them a good, kind of a good show? Anybody wanna see anything more with this one? I'm trying to jump in the chat really quickly. Yeah, Ruse G, you got it, Mr. Crucifix TV? Can you show them your shirt? I like that shirt. Well, how, we, don't, we don't have that shirt in our shop. I think it was from... Uh, it was from... Uh, Vistaprint. I think Vistaprint sent us this shirt, you guys. Can you see how much taller he is than me? Like his head isn't even in the shot. Hi, sweetheart. Thank you. You're so good to me. I'm five foot zero and Mr. Crucif TV is six foot zero. So um, Canada, this one does not have wheels. It is a, a traditional backpack, but eBags does make lots of different backpacks with wheels. So you will be able to find that. Okay. All right. Who's confused about what? I'm seeing some people say that they're confused, but I don't know what they're talking about. So we'll try to, we'll try to figure that out. Okay. All right, yes, no wheels on the bag, you guys. That is correct. It is not a wheeled bag. It is a backpack that can convert to a handled suitcase. Okay, and it has a laptop sling in it. So you can put laptop in it, but yes. Oh you yeah. You had a lot of questions about where they can find the toiletry bag, sure. how much is it? I don't know if you've covered yeah, some of that Yeah, I have stuff. all of that. Okay, so um, Tasha, thank you so very much. We would love to do more Royal Caribbean videos too. And as if we get the ability to do that, we certainly will. I'm actually pulling up the prices for a lot of these products right now. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. Um, the medium packing cube, this is the size. The set of three on eBag's website, which is linked in the description below, is $26.99. The packet flat toiletry kit varies in price based on the size. So it depends on what you choose, but the one that we have is around $34.99. You can buy them on eBags website. I've linked the exact products in the description box below on the eBags website and in Amazon's and on Amazon's website. So you can either use our affiliate links for Amazon or for eBags and you won't pay a penny more. So they're all there. The, um, the mother load weekender convertible backpack right now is 119, but I have to tell you guys that eBags has sales all the time. I know this last week, I noticed that their stuff was 20% off. So you probably want to click on the links in the description below and get an account set up with eBags. If you think that you're going to spend a good amount of money there and go back and it's worth setting up an account. Otherwise, you might want to just use Amazon and shop our store for them. So the links are down below. Wait till this saves to replay and then you can see them. Okay, I'm ready. Amazon also has lightning deals on these things all oh. the time. I just saw that toiletry I bag. I saw the toiletry bag on lightning deal last night in the last 30 minutes. So I didn't post it on Facebook. If you guys are following us on Facebook, Mr. Cruise Tips TV will get onto Facebook and he will post lightning deals for you guys all the time. He generally does that for me while I'm at work because it's not something I can do while I'm working. But if he sees it, he's gonna get it out there for you. They are limited time deals, but eBags does them all the time. How we doing in the chat? How's everybody doing? We're doing pretty good on time here, you guys. We're doing okay. We have 15 more minutes. 
and we are going to, oh, thank you, Chloe, so much for the super chat. We appreciate it. We're going to now show you the, um, the e-bags packing cubes. So this is um, the first of three in the set of three that we were telling you about. And this is the medium size. They're all the same size, all the same color for this particular kit that we got. So they do have other types of packing cubes where they vary in size. So you could get a small, medium, large, for example, you could get thin ones. There's tons to choose from, but these are the ones that are linked in the description for this video. So one of the things that you'll notice about e-bags and that you're gonna hear our subscribers tell you about is the quality of the zippers. So you will read a lot about the quality of the zippers online. They're really great. As you can see, they have these little attachments on the end. They keep them more secure. They're very nicely knotted and they guarantee them. So let me show you what's inside. Oh, Mr. Kristen's TV, your 80s rock and glow um, stuff is in here. We can't let them see inside this bag. Ooh, I almost revealed it. Well, you can't see that much, so I just won't, I just won't show you the contents. But as you can see, this is Mr. Cruise Tips TV's folded stuff in here. You can see how much he got inside the bag. Are you trying to like get me to close the bag? Don't let them see. You guys are not going to believe. You are not going to believe what he got for the 80s rock and glow party. I... <sighs> We had a we had a plan and I thought that the plan was set in stone but I came home from work last night and he was doing a little dance in his new outfit and it was absolutely hilarious so so yeah those are that's everything that we wanted to show you tonight with regard to the new e-bags products these are the extra straps that come with the e-bag backpack okay so lots going on there you definitely need to spend some time reading the manual if you get that backpack. So um, anybody have any questions specifically about what we're looking at right here? I think we do need to show them one more suitcase actually. So let me give you the rundown on what we're taking. Okay, so we have my carry-on backpack right, right here. My son has his own backpack right here. We have this giant suitcase, which I don't know how well can they see that, honey? This is our one big suitcase, but we can't lift it up and show it to you, but I can tell you it's full of packing cubes packed with stuff and my son's swim fins. And this is the bag we're gonna put our pillows in at the very last minute before we leave. We're not really that ready to cruise yet. And then this other carry-on over here is actually quite interesting. So aside from the backpack, this is our other carry-on. Yes? Let's pop off a couple of questions sure. here. And maybe you can take a look while I say thank you to Beth Jenton. Thank you, Beth. Jetland, Yay. Beth Jetland. Okay. And Ash said, how many packing cubes would I need for a five day cruise? Carry on. Only. Oh, carry on only five day cruise, maybe two medium to largest per person at the most. Thank you so much, Brooke. You're so sweet. Appreciate it. All right. I'm ready for more. Ready for more questions. Now I lost the name of the person who asked this. It went okay. by so fast, but the question's a good one. Mm -hmm. Do packing cubes really save space? Mm -hmm. I personally think that they do save space because I think you can compress your items in them. Simple it's, as that. It's People an will organization argue. thing. Yeah, too. and it's an organization thing. And, More and having that, that safety, if you're flying, having that ability to easily transfer stuff, even yeah. just take it right out of a bag. If you're overweight, you take it right out of the bag and yeah. just use it as carry on. That's another thing that we love about packing cubes is you definitely can redistribute weight in an overweight bag if you're flying. It's the best thing ever. Somebody asked how big this suitcase is. I don't have the dimensions on me, but I can tell you it's a very jumbo suitcase. It would not be carry on eligible. It's If you were to see, if you were to go to a discount store or a department store, and you saw a three pack of luggage, you know how there'd be the small, the medium, and the large. You'd have like the carry-on, the medium, and the large. Oh, that's the large. So hopefully we'll be able to get away with it. Hi, Zachary, glad you're here. Zachary, you're only 20 minutes late. Um, not bad at all, but we're only going for 10 more minutes. It looks like you guys have some good tips on buying e-bags. Um, Lisa said e-bags are the cheapest during the Christmas shopping season. And then I saw that someone else here mentioned um, a discount. They got a crossbody bag for 25 or 20% 20 off at eBags. Um, Shauna, no, packing cubes add only ounces of weight to your luggage. It's negligible. You do not need to worry about that. Barbara, yes, the backpack is quite heavy, but not as heavy as it looks, if that makes sense. Um, if you are backpacking, if you're going on a backpacking type of a trip, 
or you're going carry-on only and for one reason or another you don't want a wheeled bag, it's a good option. If you have neck issues, shoulder issues, maybe you should have a rolling backpack, but I will not be carrying it. Mr. Cruise Tips TV will, and he's perfectly comfortable with it, so there you have it. I think, Lamb, that the mermaid fin tail is allowed on your cruise. Um, uh, Tracy has an e-bags tip. She said, if you sign up with your email on e-bags, you get 25% off. That's a lot off, you guys. Go for it. Do it. Christian, can the bags go into the overhead bin? Yes. The Weekender convertible can fit in the overhead bin. The Junior is also a really good option for flying though. So it, especially if you're looking towards putting it in front of you. Okay, so many good tips you guys. Really appreciate it. This is awesome. Um, go ahead, Mr. Cruz Tips TV. Oh my gosh, did you, HG Jester, the eBags Motherload Junior is only $89.99 right now. So I think it was 119. Thank you so much, Michelle. You just bought me a margarita. <laughs> I, I don't know how this turned into super chat being people buying me cocktails, but basically it does. Okay, <laughs> just teasing you. Joshua uh, Williams has a has a question about e bags or sure. or packing cubes in general. And okay. He's I think he wants to know either the brand or how many he would use for an eight day cruise. An eight day cruise, I would think you probably need maybe a set of three. A nice medium sized set of three would probably work just great for you. Now let's say you don't want all of them to be the same size. Then go ahead and get a set that's like a small, medium, large. And that would also work too because the large ones are really big. So it just depends on the type of suitcase you have. Now you'll notice that when Mr. Cruise Tips TV held up the e-bags um, mother load convertible that the bags that the packing cubes fit perfectly into it so you really want to kind of try to eyeball it um, i want to give you the dimensions on the medium packing cubes that we showed you those are 13.75 by 9.75 by 3 inches so they're really good for like folded shirts jeans dresses dress shirts t-shirts that kind of thing is going to fit really really well into them. How are we doing, Mr. Christopher's TV? We have a lot going by and I'm afraid we're going to miss some. Okay. If it goes too long, feel free to ask your questions again. I am going to start yeah. collecting some of them. Okay. So Great. Sounds good. Can you come over and show me the, show them the suitcase now? Backpack over there? Yes. Sure. Okay, I'm going to try to get out of the way, guys. Mr. Cruise Tips TV is coming over to show you the contents of our second carry-on. Now, this is the one that has soda in it. So he has to be really careful. So we're taking a, tw a 12 pack of Diet Pepsi. I want a Diet Dr. Pepper. And then we're taking some LaCroix. <laughs> so let's show him. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the way and then you come over here. I'm just gonna step out of frame for a moment. Is it heavy? Are you okay? Okay, can y'all see this? All right, so on this side, it's the soda and um, my sneakers placed into shower caps to protect them. So you can see the soda here and then there's another couple of pairs of shoes in here. On this side over here, I know this is so heavy. Okay, I've jangled my two e-bags with my stuff in them. So this is undergarments here a pair of wedge sandals here, all of my sunscreen here, and this is a combination of different toiletries and my jewelry roll. Okay, you can put it down. You all right? Okay, got it. I know, that is so heavy with two 12 packs of soda in it. So this is what it looks like fully packed. We had a lot of requests for, for pe from people who said, we really wanna see, we really wanna see this stuff packed. So this is our best, our best, uh, Stab at that. Okay, so Lamb said going on Royal Caribbean, how formal is formal night? It can be anything from a cocktail dress to a ball gown or none of the above, and you can go to the buffet if that helps. Make sure you're following Matt at Royal Caribbean blog. He is wonderful and has a podcast, a website, a forum, everything you could ever imagine, and he's a blogger, um, and you'll learn a lot. Okay, so Alexander said it's really formal. Okay, what size is that case with the soda? That would be considered a carry-on size rolling suitcase. Okay, yeah, SoCal Seth, Mr. Christopher's TV's got the undies. <laughs> you remembered, because the first note in his, his man packing video, it says at the top, six minutes and two seconds, underwear. Just like that, like, he's not like messing around, there's no fluffy language. <laughs> he's, got his, he's got his chonies in there, Seth. He's got his chonies. Um, okay, what do we have, Mr. Cruz? I don't want to leave everybody um, disappointed. We have six minutes. Grants and Morris, can children dine alone on Carnival? Can, can children? 
Your micro, okay. Can children dine alone on Carnival? I think technically, depending on their age, the answer, the short answer would be yes. Sharon, um, um, okay, so Sharon, Mr. Cruise Tips TV's clothes are in the e-bags. Our son's clothes and my clothes are in the Big Daddy suitcase, and that's it. Yeah, everything is in here. Even my hanging clothes are now zipped into this one. I put them in a dry, dry cleaning bag. I, I consolidated them onto a few hangers. So I have like three dresses per hanger, Sharon. And then I put a giant dry cleaning bag over all of them. And I laid them on top of everything else. And then I zipped it closed so that minimal wrinklage will happen, hopefully. Carnival tends to not have as many hangers. So I usually, when I'm going on Carnival, I take a few of my own hangers and then I supplement with theirs. So hopefully, um, that helps. Ruse, I got that carry-on a really long time ago at Marshall's and I can't find it anymore. Um, yeah, Bridge Tennis definitely would recommend a Bluetooth speaker for a cruise as long as it's um, as long as it's small and you want some packing tips. Christian wants any last few packing tips. Pack comfortable shoes, pack a minimal amount of shoes, lay out your outfits and make sure they match before you pack them. Pack early and then the week before your cruise, remove about 25% of it, you won't need it all. Those are my packing tips for you. Good question, Christian. Christian, staying on topic, very proud of you. Um, uh, Ash, have I ever used a soft-sided bag? For clothes on a cruise, do you mean like a garment bag? If so, yes. Wendy Belcher, can you take a travel steamer on Carnival? That is debatable. Technically, probably not. Ah, it's a tricky one. Thank you very much, Stan. I appreciate it. The cafe a, a patisserie. I will take it and I will buy myself a croissant, if you will. Thank you, Stan. I really appreciate you. <laughs> no drink. It will be a, it will be a nice one. Thank you so much, Brittany. I appreciate it. Thank you for the reminder about thumbs upping. Um, no, Melanie, you're not obnoxious for planning 13 months in advance. You know what we always say is planning is like more than half the fun because it is. Why do we cruise, guys? It's the anticipation. It's the joy. All of us are here right now because we kind of like live to cruise, right? No way. It's not too soon at all. I know that I have missed a lot of your questions, you guys. Um, I'm quite sure of it. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. It's a little harder on a weeknight with life and work and stuff for us to stay for a long time. So I would encourage you, if you have a question, to try to message me on Facebook. It's really the fastest way. Um, so follow our page over there. And if you need a quick answer, that's the way to do it, OK? Um, Zachary, you got another Mickey Mouse suitcase. Woohoo! I got a couple um, here that went by. Okay. My Frenchie and Let's me, see. what boats go out of Cali? That should be of California? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that question. My Frenchie and me, I'm not going to be able to cover them all, but I'm going to do my best. So what, what ships go out of California? First of all, let's talk about the ports we have available to us in California. We have San Diego, California, which has a Holland America and Disney right now, and probably something else that I'm forgetting, okay? Um, we have Long Beach, which is Carnival's hub in the Los Angeles area. We have San Pedro, which is Norwegian and Princess and any other cruise line other than Carnival. That's the Los Angeles departure port for, for um, uh, those other ships. So you're going to have like Norwegian ships there, and you're going to have Princess ships going out of LA. And then you have the bonus of San Francisco being a cruise port. And guess where you can go? From San Francisco, you can go on a 10-night cruise to Alaska, and you have Princess Cruises up there. So I know I didn't get super specific, but I wanted to give you the broad overview. Okay, for those of you who are going to bed, good night, and thank you so much. Um, Wanda, you cannot check the soda with the porters. It needs to be in your carry-on if your cruise line allows it. Yeah, Zachary, I remember when Royal Caribbean used to sail out of San Pedro too. Amelia wants to know how many out outfits should you pack for a seven day, eight day, seven night cruise? Amelia, I can't answer that for you because I don't know where you're going, but you need to think about an outfit for day and then an outfit for dinner. So two a day would be my, my quick and dirty answer, but you need to go watch our packing videos and you're going to feel much better when you do. We have packing playlists in the playlist section. So Ash yes. clarified, you were thinking of a um, duffel bag. 
A duffel bag? What was the what was the question about the duffel? Have you ever used a soft sided bag? I haven't because my um, my neck and my back get really sore if I carry stuff, so I try not to. But when I was younger and we would go camping, we would use them. I just haven't used them since the rolling things came into favor and backpacks became available. So, okay, got it. All right, Dr. Krepster, we haven't gone on our cruise yet. We're packing for it now. We're getting ready. Um, we're going to go ahead and get ready to sign off, guys. Message me on Facebook, or if you'd like to, leave a comment here after the video saves to replay. All of the products mentioned in this um, video today that are from eBags are linked in the description below. You can access them directly on the eBags website or in our Amazon store. We've given you two options. Thank you guys for supporting us. Yes? There was, you keep mentioning Facebook, and there was a question Facebook. about how do I get to your Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash cruise tips TV. Go to Facebook and simply search Cruise Tips TV, all one word, no spaces, and you will find us there. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. We have a lot of fun and we do different things on all three of those social media outlets. So it's really fun to follow us over there. If you guys could give us a thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet to Cruise Tips TV, be sure to do that now so you can catch all of our vlogs from our Carnival Splendor Cruise. We really want you to subscribe. Help us get to 40,000 subscribers. We're close. We're only about 500 um, away and when we get to 50,000 subscribers, we are going to do something very very special and we can't wait to see that happen Thank you guys so much for being here with us um, Tammy, thank you for the beautiful words as always. Thank you all so much for your continued support of Cruise Tips TV and until next time We'll see you on the high seas Hey, click me to subscribe